So it looks like it's just about that time again for my annual revisit to the World of Warcraft. Of course, we've got the big Shadowlands expansion coming up at this point at a date that's to be determined as it was delayed. However, the pre-patch is happening right now, today. As of this recording, this thing is going live. And there's some pretty cool, interesting stuff in this that I'm looking forward to. I want to talk with you guys a bit about what's coming in the WoW Shadowlands pre-patch and what aspects of it that I plan to spend the most time with and... um. Well, yeah, let's just get let's get into it. So obviously the big thematic thing around this is the preparation for the Shadowlands expansion. Along with that, there is this limited time event called Death Rising. And this is going to be happening at some time shortly after the pre-patch launches. We don't have an exact time, but it's all about defending Azeroth from this undead scourge invasion. This will include a brand new quest line where we're looking to establish a foothold in Ice Crown Citadel. That's right, boys and girls, we'll go back to Northrend. And this is all in preparation for the journey into Shadowlands. You know, besides the quest lines, there's also going to be like these mini bosses, these Wrath era mini bosses scattered around the zone. And there's going to be Scourge invasions in some of the main capital cities as well. Ton of uh, undead zombies running around the major cities. That's that's going to be a big part of it. So it's, it should be cool little event for your uh, for your characters. And I guess one of the nice things about this too is that's going to include catch up gear at item level 100, which is the equivalent to the normal version of this final final raid tier. So this would be good if you haven't played much BFA, if you're just coming back when you and you played at launch, or if you're going to be leveling up uh, some brand new characters. And that's going to lead into a majority of what this pre-patch includes that I personally am pretty hyped for. So first off, we've got class overhauls, as is the case with pretty much every new WoW expansion. There's some uh, alterations, some tuning, and some new things coming to classes. So there will be new abilities and talents for many of the classes in the game. Uh, one of the things that a lot of people are also excited for is this unpruning of some skills that got removed in the past and specifically there are a lot of these like classic what they're calling class defining abilities that are going to now be shared across all specs so as examples shamans are all going to have healing totems no matter the spec same thing with rogues for poisons all druids will have access to bark skin all mages get access to frost bolts so a lot of things that at some point got siphoned either out of the game completely or into Two specific specs are now going to be class wide. So if you want to try a new class, if you want to level something new up, now might be the time to do so to check out some of this new stuff. But this also coincides directly with the level squish and the new starting experience as well as the new leveling experience. So first off, characters who are currently at the max level of 120 are going to be scaled down to level 50 once the pre-patch comes out. What this is going to mean basically though is that across the board, all of the levels, items, and stats attributed to those levels they've all been adjusted uh, and the whole their goal that they're saying with this is to make reaching a new level feel more meaningful with a lot fewer total levels every new level is going to be more exciting because you're more likely to be getting a brand new skill or an updated version of a skill or a passive or whatever this will be happening much more frequently in the leveling experience and leveling is also going to be quicker that is their goal anyways they say they've overhauled the level experience reducing the time it takes to reach max level now from what i've been seeing in some of the testing it the people are talking about like the 15 hour range from level 1 to 50, which is the max level at pre-patch, 60 at Shadowlands. Um, somewhere around the 15 hour range, there has been some extreme examples with some power leveling where people were hitting like four, five, six hours to max level. I believe from everything that I've read that the Blizzard is trying to nerf that and they're really aiming to have the ballpark be around 15 hours. Now it could be closer to 12 to 10 hours if you're really quick, or it could be more like 20 hours if you're taking your time but somewhere in that 15 hour ball ballpark is uh, what appears to be the goal that Blizzard is aiming for. Now whether or not you are a brand new player coming into World of Warcraft for the first time or a seasoned player you're gonna have access to a brand new starting experience. This place is called Exile's Reach and it's a new starting area that is focused completely on introducing players to the fundamentals of playing World of Warcraft and any important mechanics for the class of your choice. It really condenses down a lot of the different elements of playing the game. They cover the basics of movement, combat, using different abilities in different situations. There's a mix of different basic enemy types, including some rare spawns and bosses. They show you all about finding and 
equipping new abilities and gear as you level up and come across new items. And all of this is guided by these new UI notifications that pop up. And in fact, the whole experience wraps up with them introducing players to dungeons. You are asked to queue up and enter Dark Mall Citadel, where a pair of NPCs will help guide you through some basic boss mechanics like AoE ground attacks, spell interrupting abilities, and the, the just the whole concept of boss phases transitioning from one boss mechanic to another. Then when you're done with the dungeon, they take you on a flight to your capital city where they will give you a tour around town and set you on your way. And this whole process also includes uh, giving you access to riding at level 10. So yeah, I think it's a pretty really, it's a pretty cool introduction. I've done it about five or six times at this point, leveling up different characters in Exile's Reach. And I really, really like uh, how this presentation has been laid out. And what's worth noting as well is that once you are done with Exile's Reach, if you're again, a brand new player, first time into WoW with your first character ever, you will be going straight to Battle for Azeroth. I think the thing they're thinking here is they want to introduce you to kind of the most recent expansion of WoW with like the most interesting like world design and layout. I know there's a lot of negativity around BFA as an expansion as a whole. A lot of that is tied to kind of the end game progression systems, the grinding, the daily logging in, the, you know, dealing with the randomness of things like corruption and not so much around like the, the zones and the leveling experience. I think BFA was a gorgeous expansion. They had some really interesting and cool zones and different types of quests. And I think for the newest of players going into BFA straight after the one to 10 new player experience on Exile's Reach, I think BFA is the place to bring them. For veteran players, you can choose not to do BFA and you can actually pick what expansion you level up from levels 10 to 50. By default, uh, you'll be in the world of BFA, but simply going up and speaking to Chromie in her location, either in Stormwind or Orgamar, will let you select the expansion you want to level in. By doing this, it will scale the content of that expansion and all of its zones so that you can level from 10 to 50 solely in that expansion. Now, it, at any point, if you want, you can go back to Chromie and choose a different expansion. But if you just want to go into Outlands, if you want to just go into Northrend or Pandaria and do all of your 10 to 50 leveling, you can do that in just that one location rather than feeling fragmented of, okay, here I start in Azeroth and then I go to Outlands and then I go to Northrend and then I go to Pandaria and doing that for like every single character. Now you can just pick the expansion that you like and do the whole thing there. And then from 50 to 60, of course, once Shadowlands comes out, that's where you'll be doing that leveling. I've always really enjoyed the leveling experience, but I didn't love this idea of hopping around all these different expansions as much. And I kind of like that I can just pick an expansion and stick to it and do the entire leveling process there without having to move on to some of the more recent iterations, the expansions that we've had over the last five or seven years. Maybe I just want to stay in Azeroth and just walk around like Durtar and Barrens and go in Ashenvale and all that shit. And if I want, I can do that, it's, which I think is really, really cool. That combined with the class changes and the unpruning and the new additions and all that stuff with the squished level experience and the Excel, I'm just, I'm looking forward basically to leveling up some brand new characters. I'm, I'm excited for Prue Patch for that entire reason. I'm gonna get all my tanks leveled up to max level and I'm gonna do it in whatever the hell expansion I feel like. <laughs> um, so some other things that are worth noting, there's been an update to character customization. It's got a brand new UI with heaps of new customization options, you know, selecting your eye color, skin tones, hairstyles and color. There are a ton of new race specific options like tattoos for dwarves and vines for night elves. You can select how bony your undead characters are. And all of this will also be available at the barber shop for your existing characters. Some gear updates that are worth mentioning. If you are currently active in the like end game BFA process, all of the corruption effects will be removed from the gear. And they've also completely overhauled heirlooms. They no longer are gonna be granting experience bonus because you know they have the new Excel accelerated leveling process and all that. And instead now there are set bonuses attributed to heirloom gear. Uh, some of it's kind of boring, like this rested experience uh, con consumption reduction, but the four piece set bonus I like, it's this thing called burst of knowledge, where when you level up, you deal holy damage around you, but more importantly, you get a buff that's to 40% of your primary stat for two minutes. And anytime you defeat an enemy, it will extend that effect for up to two additional minutes. So you can kind of keep this buff rolling if you're constantly killing enemies. I'm not super pleased with the direction they went with heirloom. Like two of the four total set bonuses are about rested experience consumption reduction. As I heard, uh, as I heard uh, everyone's favorite WoW streamer Asmongold say, this is a set bonus that revolves around not playing your character. 
kind of dumb, really. But anyways, yeah, heirloom's been changed. Corruption's getting removed. They're also adjusting flying in some of the old expansions for Warlords of Draenor and Legion. Flying is no longer going to require the Pathfinder achievements. Also, for allied races, no longer require exiled reputation. All you need to do is complete any achievements and story quests associated with that allied race. So that's what's coming with the pre-patch. Um, and I think really the big things that I am most looking forward to are the level squish and that new 10 to 50 leveling experience. And I guess you can roll Exiles Reach, the new 1 to 10 experience into that as well. It's like a 40 minute romp that gets you to level 10. And then from 10 to 50, I just get to level wherever the hell I want. And I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to trying some brand new classes. I'm looking forward to checking out the class changes. And I'm looking forward if I want to just play in Azeroth or if I want to go into the Outlands or Northrend or wherever the hell I feel like leveling, I get to do that and get them to the current max level of 50 as we prepare for the Shadowlands expansion. And then, hey, because we've got that Scourge Invasion event, I get to get them some, you know, decent gear as well in preparation for the expansion. I'm always happy to revisit WoW. I always look forward to checking out the new stuff in the brand new expansion. Who knows how good or bad Shadowlands is going to be at this point, but if nothing else, I'm excited for the pre-patch. I'm excited to jump in, revisit Azeroth, level up some new characters, and get ready for the next expansion. So there you go. That is this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed my coverage of the upcoming pre-patch, what I'm looking forward to, what I'm excited about. And um, yeah, I guess let me know what you th what are you looking forward to. I never ask you guys questions. What do you... Hey. How are you doing? What are you looking forward to? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Helps engagement. While, while we're at it, since I'm just fucking boosting my stats here, give me a thumbs up as well. Why haven't you done that? Why don't you do that for every video? Go back in my last 10 videos and give all of those thumbs up. Now I'm asking too much of you. Do whatever the hell you want. But thank you for watching the video. I'll see you later.